Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Monday evening. Let's take a moment as we gather our thoughts, shall we? O Christ, Son of the living God, may your holy angels guard our sleep. May they watch over us as we rest and hover around our beds. Let them reveal to us in our dreams visions of your glorious truth. O High Priest of the Universe, O High Prince of the Mysteries, may no dreams disturb our rest and no nightmares darken our dreams. May no fears or worries delay our willing prompt repose. May the virtue of our daily work hallow our nightly prayers. May our sleep be deep and soft, so our work be fresh and hard. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Into your hands I commit my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. How precious to me your thoughts, O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I make the cross of Christ upon my breast over the tablet of my hard heart, and I beseech the living God of the universe, may the light of lights come to my dark heart from thy place, and may the Spirit's wisdom come to my heart's tablet from my Saviour. Christ without sin, Christ of wounds, I'm placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night. Christ of the poor, Christ of tears. Thy cross be my shielding this night. O thou son of tears, of the wounds of the piercing. I'm going now into the sleep, albeit in thy dear arms keep. O God of grace, that I shall awake. Tonight we're looking at an unbreakable bond. 1 Corinthians 1. Verse 10 says these words. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Agree amongst yourselves and avoid any division, so that you may be perfectly joined of the same mind and united in a common purpose. So what can we ponder this evening? Have you ever tried sticking metal with wood glue or plastic with wallpaper paste? If you have, then you'll know you're wasting your time for you were using the wrong tool for the job. Different glues are designed for different tasks and what works for one may not work for another. Get it right, however, and you will create a bond to last. That should be the effect, the effect of love that we're meant to share as Christians. The reality sadly is very different for all of the moves in recent years towards church unity there are as many, if not more, divisions today than ever. Splinter groups breaking away over questions of doctrine, worship and church practice. Individual fellowships are equally marred by gossip, cliques, personality clashes, backstabbing and so on. All too often, instead of testifying to the love of Christ, our relationship with other Christians speaks instead of our human, infallibil human fallibility turning people away from the church instead of drawing them towards it. There will always, of course, be differences of opinion and outlook amongst us, for we're individuals with unique experiences of Christ. Similarly, there will be those who are more naturally drawn towards, we are more naturally drawn towards than others. That is a simple fact of life, if though we are truly in Christ, then the faith we share should transcend such differences. The love that unites us more powerful than anything that may divide us. So ask yourself this evening, are you open to Christians of other denominations and theological persuasions? Are your relationships with Christians in your own church what they should be? Or have there been disagreements that have come between you?
Let's pray. Gracious God, for all my talk of love and fellowship, I am not very good at loving others, too easily allowing divisions and differences to sour my relationships. For all my talk of being part of your family, I close my mind so many to so many brothers and sisters in Christ. Forgive me and open my mind to the unity of faith that I share with your people in every place. Give me a concern for and openness to all. Fill your church with love so, and so bind us together to the glory of your name. Amen. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. Be near me. Uphold me, my treasure, my triumph. Circle me, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep peace within and evil out. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. As you sleep this evening, I pray that it will be a gloriously peaceful and restful time. Remember to pray for others and remember to pray for yourself. Remember to care for others and also to care for yourself. Good night and God bless you.